unconscious in your head. First thing that attracted me was Stephen King. Uh, to be a part of his uh, legacy in in any way was uh, something that I've always wanted to do. I love his writing, and his characters are so rich. And then reading the script, which was beautifully written, uh, and and then talking to the director Rob Savage and getting an understanding of what he wanted to do with it, which was uh, a more human story than um, you might see in a, in a other horror films. Um, he felt that their, the jump scares wouldn't be scary if you didn't care about the characters. So the combination of all that made me want to be a part of the film. I think I was a little bit hesitant at first with the audition because I really felt like I don't want to play another damsel in distress. I feel like I've I've done a lot of that role of the little girl that has to be saved, you know. And as much as like some of my other characters were strong-willed characters, they were always being saved. And I was like I don't want to be that anymore. I don't I want to be able to be either the bad guy or um someone who actually I feel like has a, a courageous is courageous enough to um, hold hold the movie and hold up such important scenes. And when I really like fully read the script of the Boogeyman, um, I was like, Sawyer is this? She is not a damsel in distress. From the first few scenes, you see her as this scared little girl, but as you see her progress, she is a strong soul that is just trying to help her family mm. and nobody believes her. Mm. And it's just so terrifying to think that you're facing this kind of entity on your own because nobody believes you for it. And she is just an incredibly strong character and I immediately was pulled to Sawyer and uh, she is just, I mean, a wonderful character that mm -hmm. I really enjoyed playing. Katie, there's something in my room. You believe me, don't you? There's no such thing as monsters. You need to grow up! I mean, anything Stephen King, he's the absolute horror king. Um, I think my first session with Rob, I realized that he was very passionate about it and he was very, he was going to make a naturalistic grounded movie. And I felt similarly, like I've done yellow jackets and I've done a lot of genre -y stuff and I don't want to be, you know, your fear is to be put into a box. But this I could tell was going to be different and it was gonna be special and it was going to be at the core of it about a family and their complicated dynamics. I didn't want to do the film. I wasn't attracted to the film at first. I was scared of the film. I thought the film was going to be too challenging for me. I thought that that added pressure of the fact that it was a Stephen King adaptation and he's, you know, one of my favorite creators wasn't exciting at first it was actually intimidating to me and the fact that the character was going to require something from me that i didn't feel like i was willing to really give so i guess the answer to your question with all that being said would be rob savage because i was i had said no, I think a couple of times, but I definitely was feeling like it didn't, it didn't feel like I was ready for the challenge of this, of this role and I didn't feel up to it. What is this supposed to be? It's the thing that comes for your kids when you're not paying attention. When I joined this project, um, the draft that, that Beck and Woods had done focused on Will, the therapist father, um, who, you know, was uh, was investigating his kids' claims of this this creature. Um, it felt to me like the version of the movie that I wanted to tell was more geared towards um, uh, 
the the younger characters and was I was more interested in kind of evoking those childhood fears and what it felt like to be a kid afraid of the boogeyman. And so we focused on the uh, the kid characters, one of which was um, was actually a, a male character, Sawyer, originally. Um, and slowly as we started to develop those characters, it felt like it would be more interesting if Sawyer was was a girl and that it was about this kind of um, sisterly bond developing throughout the movie. Dad, you have to listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Sweetheart, let me handle it. 